about eight feet. That's where the stones usually ship from the quarries. When this quarry shot down, they just left a big pile of them sitting behind. It's just about straight to our left now. Uh, the quarry itself was quite a bit larger than the little opening that we can see today. Just to the right of the open area, the quarry continued in for several hundred feet, although that part of it has, of course, become overgrown. Now, this particular quarry was owned and operated by Frederick Prentiss. Originally, he was a businessman from New York. That was actually the fuel storage building. It's pretty heavily constructed, made of a couple layers of brick. Now, the inside is lined with steel. The roof is also made of steel and only loosely connected to the rest of the building. It was designed so that if their fuel were to have caught fire and caused an explosion, what would hopefully have happened is that the roof would have blown off and away from the lighthouse. So that at worst, they would have lost their fuel, but it hopefully would not have destroyed the light. But just in front of the keeper's houses, there's another building that looks kind of like an outhouse, and that one actually is. Now we're going to turn one more time. Thank <laughs> you. 